this is me ashik mera naam hai din today we'll have a look about my project library management system using c++ so now this is the, basically this is the home screen of my project uh, it just displays uh, welcome welcome to ashik library management system press enter to continue so this is generally the menu of my these are the options of my project the first one is for the customer and the second one is at the seller for the seller and the third one is where we can generate our bill and the fourth option is uh, information about the developer and the fifth option exits from the program so first we'll move into seller seller so uh, now here we have two options uh, the first option is where you can create a new account for a seller and the second option is where you can log in with your existing account if you have one so first we'll create a new account so now we'll type in username name queen and now we'll create some password name 12345 and now it's asking me to confirm my password so if i type in some wrong password here let's see what happens so i get a error message saying that the passwords don't match so i have to enter to continue then i have to create my other password 45 now this time i'll enter it right yeah now the account has been created successfully press enter to continue yes so now since we have created a new account now we are actually going to use that account to log in into the seller so we'll go to existing seller and we'll type in the username queen and we'll type in the password 1 2 so um now if you see as i type the password you will actually not be able to see the password so this feature comes in quite handy so it also provides security to your password and thereby you can protect your password from other users okay so now i'll type in the password 345 yes the access has been granted no seller id is just an id to represent the seller so we can it can be any number let's take this 54 yeah, i the id is available we'll continue uh, in, uh, inside this uh, we have almost 3 to 4 options the first option is where we can add some book informations uh, about the books we can add some books and the second option is uh, where we can modify the content of a book we can modify the access number name and the cost and the author as well and the third one is uh, it's a list of books which the current seller this uh, if you take example uh, this is the the books uh, this will display the books which were added by us so now if we take a look on this so, so we get an empty table which says that we have not yet added any books now let's just go and add some books uh, add book information into the access code access code the title of the book is um, data structures this by author is tony and the cost is 500 yes. so now we have successfully added the book so it's asking me whether do you want to add another book yeah we'll add another book as well access code is um, Mm, the title will be Edge of Tomorrow. Yes, uh, the author is Rose Wolf. The cost is around six fifty. Yes, book. Now the again the book has been added successfully. Now let's add another book as well. Five five five, and the title is uh, Happiness. happiness within yeah the author is ashik miran the cost of the book is 5 no b700 yeah so now we have successfully added few books so now let's just go back from this and if we view our books now yes we'll get a list of books which we have added 
these are the books data structures edge of tomorrow happiness within these are the books which were added just now so the uh, now if you now let's say now let's say you want to modify the name of the content of any of the book let's just say you want to modify the data structure author of the data structures so let's note the code it's 333 i will go into modify book information now we'll choose three which modifies the author name so now we need to enter the access code of the book just we'll enter it 333 yes. so it says me that are you sure you want to modify the author name of this book and it displays the book the code data structures and author yes uh, yes let's just confirm it mm, the modified author name is uh, William Ken. Yeah. So now the book has been updated successfully. So now, if you just check it, the updation has been successful. Data structures by William Ken. Similarly, you can modify all the information. So you can modify access number, title, author name, and cost. Now let me just modify the access number. Yes. The access number is five 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 five. It's uh, this is the book. The access code is 5555. Now we'll confirm the modification. The modify access number is 6666. Yes, that has been updated successfully. Now, if we check our books, uh, the data has been updated from 5555 to 6666. So, now what if we uh, let's modify a title? What if we uh, type an access number that's not actually added by us? So now we get an error message saying that the access number does not exist the data updation has been failed so we'll get an error message if we try to modify a book which is not actually present so now these are about the seller features where you can add a number of books into the database and the second option is where you can modify book information and the third option is where you can have a list of the books which you have added so now we'll go back I will go into the customer. Yes. I will create a new customer account. Uh, this account name is. Um, let's just type in Laurel. Yeah. The password is 7777. Yes, we'll create 7777. Account has been created successfully. Existing customer name is Laurel. The password is. 7777 yeah access granted so now we'll choose some customer id we'll choose one so mm, if you see uh, we get a message uh, saying that id is not available so which means that uh, this id is all this id has been already taken by some other customer so we'll not be able to use this id so we need to enter uh, choose some other id let's just say 88 yeah, now the id is available we'll enter to continue so mm, these are the customer features the first option is where you can search for books by different filters by different filters by cost and by the access number we'll just see that in some moment and the second option is where you can purchase a book you can add books to your cart and view them delete them and you can check out from that and the third option is to go back first we'll search for a book so now first we have for a four to five options here the first option is that we can search the uh, book by its access number the second option is where you can search by its title the third option is searching by the author name and the fourth option is to search by cost now let's search by access number so uh, the access number of the book let's just enter four so there is one result for the access number which we have entered so the book is code 4 vivo ipl author asias so let's just press enter uh, now we get an uh, prompt saying that do you want to add all these books to the cart so if so we can add these books directly from the search option itself yes we'll add it yes add it to cart successfully so now for a moment if we go into purchase and if you view our card so we will have the book which we have added just now for view ipl by asias yes yes now we will go to this go back yes now 
so we have searched the access number now let's search by cost so enter the cost of the book let's say 400 and we'll enter so now we need to so we need to enter 0 for the cells below 400 and enter 1 for the cells above 400 we'll enter 1 to the for the cells above 400 yes enter so now we have around 14 results found so we'll view them these are the books all of the 14 results for all the books which are above 400 including 400 as well so so we'll add all these books to our cart yes added to cart successfully thank you now if we view our cart again now yeah we'll have all these books the first book which we have added by access number and all of the books by cost as well <coughs> so, so by this way you can search by access number, by title as well, by author name and cost. So in any of the options, <coughs> if you enter a data that's not, so if you enter author name who is not an author of any of the book, let's just say the author name was Mona Lisa, so zero results found. That's because we don't have any author of the name Mona Lisa, so that's what happens. So those are about the search features. You can search by all these options, and these are really useful when you add it when you want to add items in bulk. So now let's go to purchasing a book. So in purchasing a book, we have four options. The first option is inside the purchase inside purchasing a book. Is, uh, even inside this, we can add a book to our cart as well. And the second option is where we can remove a book from our cart. And the third option is viewing our cart. So if we have a look at our cart, we'll have all these items in our cart. No, no. So we'll add some books directly from the purchase option. We'll add a book say 24245. Let's see whether do you have a book of this access number. Yes, we have a book. The code is 24245. Title is Code to Conquer. And the author name is Tim John. The cost is 480. Oh yes, we'll add this book to our cart. Add it to cart. Thank you. Now, if we view our cart, we'll have the last item added. Two four two five four. Code to conquer. Tim John four eighty. Yes. So. So now, if you see, uh, we have this. Our cart is. Uh, if we just press enter, so uh, the total amount of our cart is. It's around 1 crore 8300 something. So it's all because of the book, uh, the success code 9999 Idli Sambar by Maharaj. So we don't actually want this book, it's pretty much costlier. So we'll remove this book from the cart, we'll note the access number. We'll just try to remove this book. No, uh, we'll remove this book. Access number is 99999. Yes. Now we get this prompt. Do you want to remove this book from cart? The book is 999, Idli Sambar, by Maharaj, around 1 crore. So, yes, we'll remove this book from the cart. Yes, book removed successfully. So, if we view our cart now, we will no longer have the book, which cost around 1 crore. So, if we see our bill, it's around 8306. By this way, you can remove a number of books. Uh, you can remove the books from your cart. So if I try to remove a book which is not available, uh, we'll get a prompt saying that the snow book of this given access number, the book removal unsuccessful, press enter to continue, yes. So now those are about adding book to a cart and removing book from a cart. Now we'll try to view our cart. So these are our cart items. We have all these items in our cart. It's a table. Yes, the total amount is 8,306 and the status is not paid so now it's asking me do you want to check out so checking out basically means purchasing all these books yes we'll purchase all these yes so we get a message saying that checked out successfully press enter to continue so we'll press enter so now uh, we get some kind of a bill of our purchase so the bill number is one two four four one and it also displays the items which we have purchased uh, all those books we have PL happiness programming line king and all these books so now if we see the total amount is actually the amount which we saw uh, earlier 
8306 and then now the status has been paid yes so now if we press enter we will come out from this so now since we have checked out our cart if we view our cart now let's see what happens so the cart is empty which means that we have checked out so our cart will be empty again so you can add by this by this options you can search for books you can add a, num a number of books into your cart and remove them and check out them so now we'll go back we'll go back so now we have an option called generate bill so what it basically does is that uh, whenever the customer has lost this bill so there will be uh, no kind of an issue the system will al always have a copy of his bill so let's go into it so when the when the user actually wants this bill to be regenerated again it's pretty much easier so you can just type in the bill num number uh, in our case it was 12441 we'll enter it oh yeah here we get our bill saying that 12441 this was your bill which contained all these card items and the amount is 8306 and the status is paid yeah so if we try to generate a bill which is which was not paid so we'll get an we'll get an error message saying that there actually no bill exists we'll just get an empty card empty table actually so those are about the customer features seller features and generating a bill now we'll go have a look about the developer of this program project so it displays my profile my name is ashik meeran mohideen uh, education bcs in vengadesh sri vengadeshwara college of engineering tamil nadu india and this is my github account you can this is my github account you can check this so it have uh, all the source codes of this project and all other projects as well so you can search this to get the source codes and this is my linkedin id so if you want you can if you have you can have a look at my linkedin id and this is my gmail as well ashikmiran mohideen at gmail.com and these are about my profiles so so that's it about this project so if you actually wanted to see the code of this project just yes, we'll show the in a moment and this project took me it took me about 1500 lines of coding so all those guys who have helped me in successful completion of this project i'll thank them so in just a moment we'll exit from this program and we'll see the code yes. thank you so we'll just So this is our project. We we'll just have a quick overview of this. Overview of this. So these are the header files which I have used, and these are the functions. Uh, functions around 20 to 30 functions, and we have two classes. Mm, we'll have just quick look. This. This was the code. Uh, it took really a great amount of challenge to complete this project. Uh, there were certain challenges as well so it was really good to complete all those things and complete this project so if you want to have a look and run my project on your system you will be actually can actually do that by logging into my viewing my github account that you will have the source code of the all these projects so these are my codes yeah we will just wind up now so it took me around Thousand, thousand five hundred and twenty-six lines to complete this complete this project. So that's all.